Good morning, everyone. It's Lee Henson, president and founder of Agile Dad. It's Thursday. Our week's winding down. It's time for today's episode of the Daily Stand-Up. So without any further ado, let's get started. So I wanted to talk more about the remote world that we're living in. So, you know, remote collaboration was something that we used to talk about when we had remote team members or someone who was working in another country. But boy, I don't think anybody was prepared for remote collaboration to mean what it does today. Now that everybody's working from home or in new places, you know, you hear a lot of people calling this a new normal, like it's going to be this way for some time. I wanted to find ways to, to create something that uh, was, w- would help bolster distributed collaboration, right? This is how do we get the best results from teams that are working remotely? How do we get the best results from individuals who are all over the place? You know, I think the first challenge that you have to understand and realize is that for most people, 90 plus percent, if you're working from home, it's really hard for people to separate personal from professional life. It's hard for them to, to say, you know, okay, these are the things I need to do for work. These are the things I need to do from home. Uh, you know, it's important to accept that these two both coexist and that we need to accept that there's going to be interruptions from a family member. You know, whenever I'm teaching my classes, I always say, Uh, a wife, a husband, a partner, a spouse, uh, whoever it is, a friend, a fur baby, a child, you know, somebody is going to interrupt this class. (laughs) I tell people that all the time. And I'll be darned if it doesn't happen, right? Um, It's really difficult to try to create this, this sterile, interruption free environment that looks professional at home, you know, you need to just accept that people are going to be human. And you need to figure out ways that you can be accommodating because people will be human. You know, if each person holds a meeting with their family, I know it sounds hysterical, but hold an agile meeting with your family. Talk about working hours. Talk about what you're going to try to do. Talk about, you know, the time that you will take off. Talk about exceptions to those working hours. Talk about sustainable pace, right? You should incorporate breaks throughout your day, just like you would as if you were in a workplace. You should incorporate a reasonable time for lunch. You should incorporate some things that are going to help you. You know, even if it's taking a real short break for five or 10 minutes, every, uh, every 60 to 90 minutes, right? I think that's important. You know, you should urge people who are working with you to take regular breaks. You need to urge them to do this so that they can have that degree of separation. Another thing that's really important is to make sure that you're distributing your time correctly between the work that you're actually doing and meetings that you're required to attend. Mm -hmm. There's nothing worse than meeting burnout. There's nothing worse than Zoom burnout, right? There's nothing worse than having the the meeting over and over and over again that you have to attend. Mm -hmm. You know, not everything needs to be done in this completely synchronous mode. You can do some things completely asynchronous. Uh, It doesn't always have to be a meeting. Sometimes we can make a decision and run with it, right? I think that sometimes we need to realize that that focus on outcome instead of output is going to drive us to be able to be more productive. I really believe that, you know, the whole concept of working remote in this type of avenue or this type of fashion is definitely going to have repercussions, both short term and long term. Um, You know, I think post pandemic picture this post pandemic, you know, one of the things I said was quite funny is that um, everybody's going to have weird teeth because we're so used to covering them and everyone's ears are going to stick out uh, from the masks. No, but really, you know, post pandemic, I said that since people and organizations are going to be used to finding creative, effective ways for working remotely, many organizations, I think, are just going to stick with remote work. And I think that that's going to help them not have to pay for overhead or office space. It's going to help them to really be able to gain focus and to think deeper. You know, I think one good thing that came out of this pandemic is that it helped us raise institutional awareness and accelerated awareness that organizations need to enable some form of remote collaboration. It can't just be food for thought. It can't just be a fleeing thought or a passing thought. You know, you needed to think about this before, but now we have a catalyst that's going to cause us that we have to think about it right away. Several people, I shouldn't say people, several leaders have come to me and said that they're disappointed that they've seen a decrease in productivity, uh, especially when the lockdown started. But, you know, now long term, what people are seeing is accelerated change. They're seeing things that are happening faster than they ever have before. They're seeing ideas that have come to pass. They're seeing things, they're seeing team members who are excited and more engaged and getting the work done. You know, I think that if we look at this as a positive instead of a negative, it's going to help us really accelerate and it's going to help us grow because I think that we can humanize collaboration and that we can use a more psychology-based, humanized, pragmatic approach to applying Agile, both at work and at home. 
Well, I hope this short message was good for you. As always, we encourage you to tune in to AgileDad.com where you can learn more about this topic and plenty others. I hope you're having an amazing week. Until tomorrow, take care, stay well, stay healthy, and stay agile, my friends. Until next time, we'll see you soon.